Yo YouTubers, Daniel here from Down Under. Uh, another FSX video for Steam. Um, Steam edition is uh, pretty tricky when it comes to um, add-ons etc. Um, it is getting better but most of the developers are now um, catering for Steam but uh, when I bought Steam uh, it was about 40% Catered and 60% didn't. But um, anyway, you can see this generous list of files that I have, which are basically all my add-ons that I that I use to get FSX to look the way it did in my last video on triple screens. Um, anyway, you guys probably don't know. If you don't know what this is, Active Sky Next basically is the weather engine that will hook up. Um, it's a payware it will hook up to uh, <coughs> FSX and download the real live weather and you can program your routes into this um, and it will give you the uh, the clouds and, and the weather conditions of, of that particular time in that particular part of the world so that's Active Sky next I'm going to be pretty brief with all these guys so I don't bore the crap out of you um, as far as all add-on scenery airports um, airports there's a lot of add on airports the majority of the ones that people would know about would be the aerosoft airports um, which is obviously uh, you know uh, all your oh, London your German airports etc you can see them all there pretty much fairly clearly uh, the next lot of airports which uh, in the European area um, is, is made by um, FS Dream Team. There's a few, actually not FS Dream Team, it will be UK 2000, which a lot of people know about. Um, obviously, you can see the airports I have here, which is basically based in the UK area, which hence being UK 2000. Um, other airports that I liked that are quite good, obviously, you've got your Fly Tampa airports as well, which are all in there. Um, all these airports are obviously pay away airports, you've got to pay for them but trust me, they're worth it they're pretty good they're pretty damn awesome um, where I fly um, uh, the airports just make all the difference as far as I'm concerned so they're the main airports basically uh, Hong Kong is um, taxi to the gate Hong Kong um, <coughs> FS Dream Team, there's some uh, American airports in there. Flight Beam is another mob that does uh, a few American airports. Uh, and then you've got obviously your Orbex stuff, Brisbane and and, uh, and Melbourne, etc. for uh, Orbex. And Asian airports, uh, a few people do like Pack Sim, that's an awesome airport. Um, there's some other airports in Phuket and Bali and all those sort of guys. Samsoft make a good one for Singapore um, and so that gives you a bit, bit of a rundown on where to get these uh, these airports from um, and they're all pretty good reasonably priced and they're worth every penny if you're serious about your semi. Um, airplane installs obviously we all know about uh, our uh, aeroplanes uh, the main one being this guy here um, obviously I have uh, the three main um, planes that I fly and some textures and stuff like that. Uh, level D I haven't really used it much. It's pretty good, not as good as PMDG. Uh, Airbus X again I haven't really sort of used it much. I, I find that PMDG is probably the most uh, advanced out of all these but um, yeah give them a shot. Again you have to pay for them but that's uh, that's basically all your aeroplanes. FS2 crew, if, if you don't know what that is, um, yeah, that is a uh, basically your, your first officer, virtual first officer that will uh, help you fly the aircraft and, and do your checklists, etc. Um, and it becomes basically a, a third person within your PC that you talk to in a specific way um, to uh, basically carry out your procedures and checklists and fly the aircraft, and it will help you do that. 
uh, he will talk back to you and flick switches and do whatever he has to do as a first officer um, to basically make your job a lot easier as captain, so to speak. Easy dock. Everyone should have this as far as I'm concerned. Um, gives you uh, a, basically a, a better virtual uh, world of, of, of camera um, angles within the cockpit externally. Um, allows you to move, you know, your uh, positions in the cockpit smoothly from one f from one position to another. For example, uh, looking at the primary flight display, and then you might want to glance up to the overhead. You can program this thing to do that. Um, and at the moment, this is the latest version for Steam is CA 1185. And uh, <coughs> as long as you install the SIM Connect installer it will uh, connect to the simia quite easily. Um, frames limiter, I'm not going to worry about that. US UIPC4, obviously that is all your, all your um, again, sim connecting interfaces for uh, third party software like your, uh, um, your Active Sky, etc. FSX Booster, tried that, doesn't work. Uh, so I've just kept it on file. Again, FSX Recorder, uh, we know about that. Uh, GSX Ground Services, brilliant software. Uh, basically gives you a completely new ground uh, team that will basically uh, load the aircraft, uh, refuel the aircraft, help you taxi to a gate, for example, when you've just landed. Um, takes a bit of getting used to but uh, again it's well worth uh, well worth the money uh, it just makes you seeming a whole lot more sort of real realistic um, nav data for your FMC especially for um, for Airbus PMDG and level D this is to update all your stars uh, standard instrument arrivals standard instrument departures all your stars all your runways um, all your SIDs, etc. Again, you have to pay for this at the moment. I'm on version 15.08, which basically um, loads up the FMCs of uh, PMDG Level D Airbus. So you've got the latest uh, uh, configurations of um, of SID stars and, 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 and airport uh, airport uh, landing facilities anywhere in the world, basically. Um, nav data, you can look this up and you can download it again. Small fee you have to pay to use it, but again, keeps you up to date with all the latest uh, airports, the runway procedures, runway uh, lengths. Uh, yeah, so it, it's a good thing to have. Rex 4 texture. Um, Rex 4 directors basically, and again, it's a it's a software that redesigns and re uh, re yeah redesigns your your whole and makes your sim look so much nicer um, it's you pay for it but it just unbelievably transforms your simulation the way the sky looks the way the clouds look the way your taxiways your runways look your lines your numbers on the taxiways um, the type of tarmac or concrete it does all that um, awesome software soft clouds again is a piggyback uh, version of well, it, it works with the uh, Rex 4 and this is purely and simply to redesign uh, absolutely photorealistic uh, 3d clouds um, all different types of clouds uh, again these two are a pay where but this transforms and helps you transform Flight Simulator X into basically the uh, the 21st century of uh, high res um, textures and, and, and clouds, etc. I use uh, in Steam. I've used um, Direct X9 and Direct X10. Steve's Direct X10 fixer is brilliant um, it does fix all the bugs with DirectX 10 being ticked in your FSX to be used um, 
again brilliant piece of software um, it just fixes and goes through every single thing um, if you're using DirectX 10 to give it just a little bit more realism if you like I find it for me in Steam it gives me fantastic realism um, and uh, especially with the video card that I have um, it is well worth it so uh, that's this guy up here takes you through basically fixes all the files you need to be fixed um, with uh, and it works in conjunction with um, your uh, NVIDIA inspector which I'll go through in another video but um, yeah it goes through everything lighting effects clouds rain shadows blah 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 blah, blah. again briefly if you read up on it you'll be able to get more information of exactly what this does uh, to make your sim look a lot nicer using DirectX 10. Um, TSS sound files, um, basically I use on all my aircraft I have uh, downloaded all my uh, realistic uh, 3D sound files for my aircraft rather than using the standard sound files that come with PMDG etc. Uh, for, you know, for example uh, these sound files literally can be loaded straight into um, your uh, sound file of the PMG G, D, G aircraft for example if I was to go to this guy here that sound file there would be loaded into your uh, let's open up another file quickly I'll quickly show you so we'll get into that's the sound file I want to put in and this is where we would go we would go to the steam 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 apps this is where your uh, FSX uh, program file is actually common FSX and then you want to find PMDG oh no you don't want to find PMDG you want to find sim objects and then aeroplanes and then there's all your aircraft in here of uh, that are in your sim at the moment find the aircraft you want to actually change the sound file on for example 777ER um, if I wanted to change that sound file I'd literally click on that and there's the sound file there that you would literally drop and drag straight over to this guy here and it would replace the sound with the new TSS Pratt & Whitney uh, sound engines with the standard <coughs> PMDG sound file and that would give you the new sound for basically the whole aircraft and you can do that with just about any aircraft if you want to you can you can put an Airbus Rolls Royce sound in a 777 Boeing if you like it doesn't really matter as long as it sounds good uh, no one's really going to know the difference between a, an Airbus or a, or a Boeing engine for example so yeah so that's basically how you do that um, what else we got as far as add-ons I use um, obviously I fly online with VATSIM um, being being this guy down here obviously excuse the blank aircraft while my uh, what's this doing okay okay so this is basically V pilot which allows me to hook online and fly online with VATSIM so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. Um, as far as um, V Pilot is concerned, um, V Pilot is very handy when it comes to um, uh, basically uh, working out flight plans and and loading them as files straight into the aircraft's FMC. Also loading files up for. Um, for Active Sky Next, as well as uh, V Pilot itself, which is filing a flight plan for here, for example.